Hey, how's it going, brothers? JK with Porn Reboot here, and today we're going to talk about seven reasons why you'll probably relapse this month. Brothers, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. If you don't transform your life, you will always relapse. There is no super fast, quick, never relapse method to ending this behavior. None at all. Your life must change, preferably to a new life where it is difficult for you to view pornography and masturbate. Now, in your reboot, if you do not explore different ways of creating new lifestyles, right? The factors which led to your relapse will creep back into your life. Let's get one last thing clear about relapses as well before we jump into the seven reasons why you'll relapse. A relapse is not an event. It is a process, right? This means that it starts out many weeks or even months before your first actual slip. And today, as I said, I'm going to cover seven reasons why you are likely to relapse this month. And my hope is that you use this knowledge to actually prevent a relapse. The first reason is that life gets better. So simply put, you've been doing well for months without any serious urges to use pornography. So you end up reverting back to your former lifestyle without maintaining any of the practices which kept you off pornography and masturbation in the first place. My question to you is, do you really feel that you're in control? Ask yourself that. The second reason is too many issues. You have too many problems which you ignored or procrastinated on, and you've decided to tackle your porn and masturbation addiction, but you quickly find out that these issues which you swept under the rug, they just keep overwhelming you. So for instance, your relationship with your wife might be falling apart, or you have a drinking problem, or your career is consuming your life, or stressing you out, or you just lost your job. You don't know how to relate to your kids, or you're filled with guilt for all the lies that you've been telling your wife. Your problem at this point is that you do not have access to enough resources to actually help identify which problems to solve first. The third reason is you don't take building reboot skills seriously, right? You don't want to do what it actually takes to reboot. And what I mean is that, for instance, you struggle with things like keeping appointments. You avoid being around certain people, certain places and situations. Very basic skills. You have no anger management skills, no support system. And making friends is a skill which you probably lost in college, which was well over a decade ago, right? So this is something to be aware of not having skills. The fourth reason is that you're playing a game of what I call false rebooting. You never fully commit to rebooting. And this is because you actually don't watch porn and masturbate daily or even weekly. You actually fall into one of two categories. The first category is the man who only binge watches pornography a few times a year, right? But when you do, you have what I call a hangover, okay? So you're mentally slow, you're unmotivated, you're isolated, you're irritable, and this lasts for weeks or months. The second type is the man who switches up his behavior to avoid accepting the fact that he's actually relapsing. So for instance, maybe you stop watching pornography, but you now masturbate to erotica or sexualized literature, including things like hentai. You stop visiting prostitutes or watching shemale porn, but you often visit their websites or escort sites just to get a taste, right? The fifth reason is you have untreated trauma or mental illness. So you're depressed, but you have never been diagnosed or perhaps you have experienced abuse as an adult or a child or you repressed or ignored it for years. So you're in denial about it and your own research on the internet, of course, has convinced you that the one therapist who diagnosed you with X issue eight years ago has no idea what he or she was talking about. So you tell yourself, you know what, I'm fine now. But are you though? Is the world around you a little crazy? Or are you? See, mental illness is not something to be ashamed of. Just like your behavior with porn addiction, it must be addressed. The sixth reason why you will probably relapse this month is weak belief. 
You really believe that no matter what you do, you will relapse. You do not believe that 100% freedom from pornography is possible. Your belief is weak because you never maintain the skills and habits which requires daily repeated practice long enough to quit pornography for good. And the seventh and final reason is unexpected life events. Now, unexpected events could actually be positive or negative. So positive events could be, let's say, a new relationship, a new career, a promotion, having a child. Negative changes could be things like unemployment, divorce, a breakup, death of a loved one, or a serious medical diagnosis. These changes often lead to a change in your daily routines. They often lead to disconnection from people who support you or even depression. So brothers, there you have it. The seven reasons why you will probably relapse this month. I hope you paid attention to them and you can use them as a guide <laughs> to not relapsing. And brothers, whenever you're ready, there are a few ways that I can help you end your compulsive behavior with porn, sex, or masturbation. Now, the first way, my brother, is if you haven't grabbed a free copy of my book, I want you to know that it's the roadmap to ending your behavior with porn and masturbation addiction permanently. There's a link to it in the description below this video. The second way is to join our Reboot Facebook group and join men who are serious about ending their behavior as well. You need connection and you need community. This is a place where you can get support directly from me and you can get yourself an accountability partner. The next way is if you're serious about seeking help, if you're over the age of 25, you're a high achiever or you're a business owner, join the most effective online group coaching program on the internet. It's called the Porn Reboot Intensive and you've probably heard about it by now. And if you'd like to be a part of the group, just schedule a call with one of my team members using one of the links in the description below this video. And finally, if you're ready to make this your best year ever, let me tell you there is no better time. This is free training, which will show you how to set up this year to be the best year to end your out of control behavior with porn and masturbation addiction forever. And that is bearing in mind that we live in probably one of the most unpredictable years of our lives. I'm JK, your brother in this struggle. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to subscribe and share it with two or three men whom you feel might benefit from it. Have a wonderful day.